So this is my project on Lenogen and the ants. Um, I've taken it from a poster project to a uh, little survival area in Minecraft. Um, this is my whole fortress here. I'm going to be getting into each line of defense. But um, the first line of defense is this cement wall that goes around the entire plantation, except for right there. And um, on top of it is a special material called netherrack. And netherrack actually burns infinitely. So um, if ants do try to get on from the trees, uh, they will be um, burned. So that is my first line of defense. So my line of defense number two is the pool of water. Um, it is four blocks deep and five blocks wide, which is uh, 12 feet deep and 15 blocks wide, or 15 feet wide, sorry. And um, the ants have to go through this. Uh, so this would be my second line of defense. My third line of defense is my electric fencing. Uh, it is two blocks up and three blocks across, or six feet up and nine across. Uh, they have to get through this as the third line of defense. My fourth line of defense is this pool of lava. It is four blocks across, or 12 feet, and it spans across from end to end of the cement walls, as do all of them. And so this is my fourth line of defense. My fifth line of defense is um, these cactuses, uh, the wall of cactus. Um, there are four of them, and they provide two purposes. Uh, one is that, obviously, if they get stuck on them, they will die. And two, uh, the only way they can go to the next set of cactuses is by going through these small little cracks right here. And um, if they do get caught on one of the spikes right there, they will provide a little traffic jam, and they cannot go through that area. So um, uh, that provides a good good wall. Um, it can also be considered a nether line of defense. But um, yeah, this is, this is my fifth one. So my sixth line of defense is pretty straightforward. Again, it's just nether rack on, on fire, uh, and it spans across five blocks, or 15 feet. Um, so yeah, that's pretty straightforward. Uh, that is my sixth line of defense. So my seventh line of defense, and almost last, is this giant structure here. Uh, beyond the lava, there are archers who shoot fire arrows or normal arrows down right before the, right in between the fire and the giant hole. Um, and to give them the signal to go and fire, I little, I just flip this little switch. I do that, and there goes the signal one right there, and then flip it again, that was just the one to make sure it's working, and then flip it again, and down comes all of the fire and normal arrows. So my eighth and final line of defense is this giant hole here. Uh, I like to call it the Pit of Doom. Uh, it spans across six blocks deep, or 18, uh, 18 feet. And it covers a large area cross, which is again six, which is eighteen. So eighteen blocks by eighteen blocks. Um, and it just is my last line of defense uh, before we get to the plantation. Uh, this is my plantation here. I'm growing wheat, um, and I have my house here, which I showed you in the um, other thing before, but. Uh, just got my little rooms here, the lever, my bedroom, and um, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, this has been my um, my report for Lenogen and the Ants poster project, uh, and goodbye.